Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your windows for better FPS and better performance in Overwatch 2 Season 8 dropped recently. This will work on Windows 10 and 11 on both low-end laptops and desktops. So watch this video till the end. I also want to introduce you guys to our new channel membership. If you guys are not a part of the membership yet, make sure to do join it. It really helps me out, supports the channel, show some love and support to the content. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC. Now once you are in settings, you have to go all the way down to gaming, go to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Xbox game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and it leads to FPS drops whenever you're playing the game. Once it's done, go back and enable game mode. This will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, which will help you again to save memory and it will also avoid unnecessary notification pop-ups to disturb your gameplay performance. Right after that, you need to go down to graphics, then click on change default graphics settings and enable both of these options. Hardware accelerator GPU scheduling will help you utilize your GPU to the maximum level whenever you're playing the games. And optimization for windowed games will once again help you to reduce input latency and it will also boost your FPS drastically. Then go back to graphics and over here you have to click on this browse button. Over here you have to add your Overwatch 2. Now I have already added my Overwatch 2 from the download location. So so it is right over here go to options and then select high performance and click on save and this will make your game to utilize more power for more efficient performance well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is deanimating unnecessary animations on your windows. Windows by default comes with a lot of animations which reduces your performance. For that, you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once this options open up for you, you have to click on adjust for best performance, click on show thumbnails instead of icons, as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will make your windows look intact. However, disable all of the unnecessary options on your PC. Simply click on apply. Then you have to go to advanced section and in the virtual memory click on change and over here from the custom size set it to 1361 then open up your calculator and then put in the total install memory of your pc for that you need to open up system information on your pc and then look for the installed physical memory that is 32 gb for me so type in 32 and multiply it with y1024 it will give you your memory in the megabytes now what you have to do is divide this whole thing by two and the value that you you get over here you have to paste it in the maximum size and then simply click on set once it is done click on ok and then apply these settings next step is disk defragmentation and this will help you guys a lot search for defragment and optimize drives and over here you need to select your local disk c only local disk c if it is a solid state drive you need to click on optimize and it will start trimming your ssd trimming will make more space on your ssd and it will reduce the space between two data blocks and make it available so your disk will be optimized more thoroughly if you guys have a hard disk drive you can simply click on analyze and it will first start analyzing the drive and then simply click on optimize and it will start defragmenting your drive it does the same thing but in ssd 
trimming will not damage your SSD's performance. However, defragmenting your SSD will. So simply just run the trimming process on your SSD. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, performance and ping issues, including packet loss with just one application. You can download no ping from the link in the description below. And the application looks like this. Now over here, you have thousands of games to choose from. You can simply search for Overwatch 2 from this list. Click on select the server and it will show you the nearest server to you. Now you have to compare where you get the least amount of ping. If you scroll down, you will find all of the servers and the least amount of ping that I can get is in Europe West. So I have to simply select the server and click on optimize this game. This will start utilizing the nearest server to me. This will help you to tunnel your game directly from your PC to the game server without any hindrance. And this will indeed fix all of your network issues, including ping issues and packet loss. The best part about no ping is the settings where you can simply enable turbo games and this will improve your keyboard response whenever you're playing the game. And in the boost FPS section, if you just turn on all of these options, it will give you the best FPS as possible whenever you're playing the game. I highly recommend you guys to use no ping to boost your network performance in the game. Links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is really simple. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and in system protection, look for local disk C, click on create and name it Overwatch 2. Once it is done, simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in restoring your system if you want to reset every settings back to default without any data loss. Now, next step is the Overwatch 2 Season 8 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download this from there. And if you're facing any issues downloading this pack, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now, once you're over here, you'll find in five simple folders. The first one is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Now, if you run an AMD CPU, you have to run the AMD CPU priority registry. And if you are running the Intel CPU, you have to run the Intel CPU priority. Now, I currently use an AMD CPU, so I have to run the AMD CPU priority. This will help you to prioritize your CPU by utilizing all of the cores. And it will also improve the efficiency of your processor. Next is the RAM optimization. And it does the same task with your RAM. Now, I currently use 32 GB RAM, so I have to run the 32 GB RAM registry. If you guys are running any other, I have left a ton of presets which you can choose from. And once again, if you don't like the performance you can always reset to default the settings next is the overwatch priority in which i have left high and medium priority and for this you have to leave your computer specifications down in the comment section below where i'll be telling you guys which priority that you have to choose then next is the windows optimization registries and in here you'll find a ton of registries which will help you to optimize your pc by simply running all of them it will disable unnecessary services background applications maps transparency and a lot more which are unnecessarily consuming a lot of memory in the background. This will help you out. So run all of them. And if you guys want to revert anything back, you can always do it from this folder. Last is the cleanup files where you'll find batch tweaks. And in here, you'll find both of these files. First one is the useful tweaks. And the useful tweaks batch file contains a lot of commands, which will help you to improve your PC's performance, which you do not have to perform manually. You can simply run this and do it. So you have to right click and run this as an administrator. Similar with the clean temporary files .bat, you have to right click and run this as administrator again and it will ask you to delete all of the files. You can press any key and it will start deleting all of your temporary files. I highly recommend you guys to do this every now and then and it will ensure that your system is running smoothly and you're getting the best FPS performance. Once the FPS pack is done, drop into the game and follow the best in-game settings. Okay, so once you're in your game, what you have to do is press your escape key and then go over to options. Once you are here, you have to go into video settings and in video, make sure that your display mode is set to full screen and your resolution is your base resolution with the highest refresh rate possible. Then you have to scroll down for the rendering scale. And in here, I suggest you guys to set your in-game resolution to 90% and then your frame rate limit should be custom and it should be set to your refresh rate minus three. My refresh rate of the monitor is 240 Hertz, as you guys can see right over here. So 240 minus three is 237. You have to do it for 60. So for 60, you have to set 57. For 144, you have to set 141 and vice versa. Then make sure to turn off VSync and triple buffering and turn on the reduced buffering. 
then for nvidia reflex keep it enable plus boost and rest everything is your personal preference right after that go over to graphics quality and in here set your graphics quality to low and it should set everything by default so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it really helps me out a lot also if you guys have not yet noticed we have introduced channel memberships so if you guys want to become a member i definitely suggest you guys to go for it support the channel show some love towards the content and with all that said we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out